Hey there guys! So, this isn't probably what you're expecting to see today, however, there, there will be a Mario video before this that you should totally see if you haven't already seen it. This is me pointing in the left-hand direction, because that's generally things that come before come from the left, you know? Either way, that's not the point. The point of this is that I have been get getting asked a lot recently, and this is kind of surprising to me, because I don't know why you'd ask me of all people. However, people want to know my opinions on, like... Let's playing in general, and how to come up with commentary, and what's important, and all that kind of stuff. And I've typed out different responses to different people. They don't all contain the same information. Um, but I've just been thinking for the past couple weeks about what really, what advice I should give people in that respect, if if any advice. So I mean, I'm a honestly compared to a lot of people, I'm a relatively new Let's player as well. Um, and I'm definitely not, I mean, I'm not that great, I'm not terrible, I guess, but, um, I guess I don't feel like I'm the best person to be giving advice, um, but if people want it, I will, I'll try, at least. So, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what people actually have been asking for. I kind of made myself a little list, so I guess I'll just kind of go down this list. And first off is quality. People talk about quality, like what what uh, recording devices are good, what microphone is good, uh, what should I get for this, how do you record emulators, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of kind of gonna cover that in general here, really quickly. And let me get a drink. My throat's killing me. Sorry, I know this is not the most professional of productions out there. I'm, I don't profess to be the most professional person in the world, but. First of all, video quality. Um, for instance, my Mario videos. Mario videos. I record using an HD PVR, a Hoppage HD PVR. Uh, those are two hundred dollars, which for a lot of people is um, out of reach, especially for some of the younger people out there in in my audience, um, which is perfectly understandable. So in that case, I mean, there is a Pinnacle Dazzle you can get. Uh, those run you fifty bucks, but they do come with. I'm pretty sure those are bundled with Pinnacle Studio, which is an alright video editing software. I use that for quite some time. Um, but if you can get a version of Sony Vegas or something, um, it'll help your quality because you can crop out the Dazzle. I don't know if you've noticed on like my old Banjo-Kazooie videos or some of my first Mario videos maybe, how at the top or bottom they'd have like weird distortions, like little lines that would appear or something. Sony Vegas, you can crop that out. I never figured out how to crop that out in Pinnacle Studio. It might be possible, and I just don't know how. But, but yeah, you can do that in Sony Vegas, which will help your quality. Even if it is a little blurry, I mean, it's, it's, still, it's still good. I mean, I used it for quite some time, and it looked all right. Um, but the HD PVR is almost in com is completely different to... Not, not completely different. That's not what I'm trying to say. It's almost incomparable compared to the Dazzle. Um, the quality is just so much better because you record in 1080i as opposed to, I think the Dazzle does 480i. I don't think it even does 480p. It might, though. Don't quote me on that. I don't profess to know the Dazzle specs very well. So I guess that's really your two choices for the most part for, for hardware games that you have to record off the console are pretty much going to be the Dazzle and the HD PVR. They're really the only, they're the most popular two out there, so... At 50 bucks, if that's too much, uh, you might have to stick to emulators. Uh, so I, don't, I don't know of anything cheaper out there. Uh, there might be something. If anyone knows, feel free to leave it in the comments. But I, I don't know. Secondly, audio. Um, I personally record using a USB microphone. It's the same thing Josh Jepsen uses. It's just a USB... It's actually a Rock Band microphone. Uh, so if you have Rock Band, you already have a pretty good microphone. Um, I also have a microphone stand, just a, a, a boom stand, like you'd see on any uh, band stage or whatever. And then I have a pop filter in, uh, above, or not above, in front of my microphone. Sorry, I'm just kind of rambling on here already. It's only been four minutes and I'm already rambling. But a pop filter is really important because it cuts out your hard S's. I'm going to give you an example here. So I'm just, I'm saying, I'm trying to think of something that... She sells seashells. Oh, this is tongue twisters with super genius now. All of a sudden, uh, this is this is with my pop filter, by the way. So right now, she sells seashells by the seashore. And now I'm gonna just flipped off my pop filter, and this is without a pop filter. She sells seashells by the seashore. Um, hopefully that'll hopefully that'll come through in the in the 
recording all right because there is actually a massive difference with a pop filter. I mean, it's pretty much just a little, it's almost like pantyhose stretched over a, a ring that sits in front of your microphone, but it cuts out your hard S's and your hard T's, which can really be grating on the ears. Because, I mean, video quality, the dazzle is all right because, I mean, people are going to be able to see what's going on anyway. However, so much of the video is absorbed through your ears and the commentary that if your audio quality is poor, it really makes it hard to watch. Uh, I have a hard time going back and, and watching any of my Final Fantasy VI videos or anything just because I didn't have a pop filter for my microphone, especially back to Golden Sun and even Link to the Past, which was not good to begin with. I was using a headset mic for some of Link to the Past and some of Golden Sun, and my headset mic wasn't that great. And oh man, it just it pains me to watch. Not because the video quality is poor, just because my audio it's so piercing. Um, so audio is really important to me. I mean, I know you can pick up at one of these rock band mics for like ten bucks. My pop filter was eight bucks. A mic stand. You don't even need a mic stand. You can you can craft your own mic stand out of a cereal box. I did that once. You just cut a hole in the cereal box on one side. You cut a hole a little lower on the other side. You thread the microphone right through there. Prop up the cereal box. You got yourself a microphone stand. Nobody else is going to know. I mean, they don't see you. They just see the video. They don't need to know that you made a mic stand out of a cereal box. So, I mean, that's like a $20 investment. And that's what I'm using right now. And if I do say so myself, it sounds pretty good in general. Um, there are its moments that it doesn't sound that great. However, compared to a lot of stuff, it's cheaper than most headset mics. Works great. Mm. So I guess now I'm going to try to tackle the the beast, which is commentary. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to explain about this because everybody's commentary style is different. But I'll I'll try to explain what my commentary style is and how I do what I do, and then. I, I know what other people do, and I'll try to get into that as well, because there's so many different styles of LPing out there. I mean, you have people like Chugger Conroy, who do walkthroughs, basically. I mean, he does, he's funny and that stuff at times, but I mean, primarily, um, like, his Pokemon LPs are walkthroughs, and that's a completely legitimate way to do Let's Plays. Um, it's not a way that I do them uh, very much, but he provides you with a lot of information, and it's really helpful and interesting, uh, which is great. That's a great way to go about it. It does take a lot of preparation. My Banjo-Kazooie was kind of a walkthrough in at least gameplay, if not in commentary, and that was it was a large investment of time. It was an investment of at least a couple hours per episode of planning and practice and that kind of stuff. And if I had been planning out my commentary as well, that would have taken even longer. Planning out commentary is something I'll cover later. But that's that's one way to do it, is walkthroughs. And if you have a game that you know really well and you want to let's play it, that's something you might want to consider if that's something that interests you. Um, then there's uh, my style, which is kind of just stream of consciousness, say what's on your mind. Um, I don't really plan out commentary beforehand. Um, I find, like, for instance, there have been times that I've wanted to bring something up in a video, and I just don't get to it. I don't remember that I want to bring it up in the video because I just go into stream mode or something. It's kind of it's kind of hard to explain. I just get into the zone of just talking about the game, talking about what's on my mind. And it doesn't it I don't think about that, oh, I had this that I wanted to talk about. I had uh a comment that I wanted to bring up or something like that. It just doesn't cross my mind because I'm not in that mode. So it's hard for people like me to plan out commentary ahead of time. It's more of a spur of the moment, spur of the moment kind of thing. Um, another thing I do that some people do and some people don't. Some people find it annoying. Some people find it hilarious. I reference memes and movies and other YouTube videos and just all sorts of stuff all the time. Uh, and that's just part of who I am as a person is I, in real life, make jokes about YouTube videos, and I watch lots of videos, and I watch movies, and I play games. And, I don't know, I guess I kind of internalize those things that strike me as funny, whether it be, why can't I hold all these limes, guy? Or, uh, what has science done? That's That's a funny meme to me, and that's something I say a lot, and people kind of attribute that to me, because it's not a very well-known meme. Or, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, for NCS, it might be stay away from the summoner. 
or well, he kind of makes his own memes with the in the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. But there's something to be said for that. Because some people find it irritating because they want to learn more about the game or they've heard it a million times, kind of like the arrow in the knee joke. And that's something that was funny for a whopping two days or so, and then it was irritating for the next 12 to 14 days while it kind of ran its course. And some people feel that way about a lot of memes, and I guess my videos aren't really for them. But I think that's important, is being able to make references to other things, because that's... Your, my neurons uh, fire in that way of, I say this and I think of this. I'll find myself watching back videos like uh, my, com uh, my co-commentary with Josh Jepson, my co-op Let's Play rather, it wasn't really co-commentary, we did the whole game together, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I'll find myself watching that video back, or any of those videos back, and I will see something. And I will think of commentary in my head, just as I'm watching. I'll be like, oh, I should have mentioned this. And two seconds later, wouldn't you know it, I mentioned that. Almost word for word. Or he says something, and I think of a meme, or a movie quote, or something. And I'll be like, I should say that. And then, lo and behold, in the video, I say it. Um, so I don't really know what it is about my commentary, but it it's repeatable, <laughs> in a way. Like, I guess I come up with the same commentary each time I watch it? I don't know, I can't really explain how the neurons fire in that respect. But, I feel like I'm just kind of vlogging about myself here and not about commentary. I'm trying to stay on track here. This is a mighty beast to, to try to cover, I know. Um, and moving on from my commentary style, people like NCS, um, they kind of treat it more like a vlog. Which is great, it's very interesting um, to, to learn about people's lives. Someone that you're uh, friends with, or you've been watching for a while, and you just have an interest in their life. I mean, so much of the internet nowadays is social media, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or what used to, or MySpace it used to be, or whatever is coming out in the future. It, there's so much interconnectivity in between people nowadays, and that makes vlogs really successful um, because it's pretty much just a video form of Facebook. Uh, or Twitter, as opposed to giving life updates on Facebook or Twitter, you do it in your Let's Play. And that works for a lot of people. Uh, it's not really my style, personally, because my life isn't that interesting in general. But that that's a, a way to do it as well. And I think I think they those people come up with commentary in the same way I do. It's just what's on their mind. Um, I don't think they really plan out like, oh, I'm just going to talk about myself for 15 minutes here. And NCS doesn't only do vlogs. I know I say, I, I brought him up as an example, but that's not really fair to him. Um, that's just kind of, he's, he's a vloggy type of person, so it, I kind of correlate those two in my mind. But that's a completely, a completely good way to do it too. And I mean, there's really no way of knowing what your commentary style is going to be like until you do it. And this brings me to another point, which is, you never know how you're going to do until you try. Um, my, you go back and watch my Link to the Past videos, and they are not that great. <laughs> For the most part, they're not that they're not funny. I'm not engaged or excited like I am in my current videos, uh, which I think is also important, excitement. Um, be happy. Be Enjoy what you're doing, because if you don't enjoy the game you're playing, that people can tell. It comes across in your voice, and there's just that sense of something missing, something lacking. And that's why I try to have energy in my videos and I and love the game that I'm playing. Because I do love the games that I'm playing and that's really important. That's another thing I'll get to later. Back to the point of, um, of commentary style, however. Which is, yeah, my Link to the Past videos weren't that great. But you just have to keep at it because you're not going to magically start LPing, or magically start LPing, you're not going to start LPing and magically be good at it. And it's kind of like actors. Actors and need to get a certain amount of hours of screen time, and pilots need to get a certain amount of hours in the sky, and you have to have a certain amount of hours driving before you can get your driver's license. And uh, you have to practice to get good at sports. And Let's Play is the same as all those things. You have to have a certain amount of time behind your microphone to get comfortable with it. And you have to have a certain amount of practice to learn what your style is and, and to just roll with it. Um, it took me hundreds of videos before I even found 
energy and comfort behind the microphone. And I'm still funny. I don't profess to be that gr- that great at let's playing. Um, and I don't know. I guess you can always improve. Um, p- some people like to think of it um, like I am consistently putting out the best content I can and I'm the best I can be. And that's great for them. If they find confidence in that, that's great because confidence is important. However, I find confidence in knowing that there's always something I can do better. Oh, my screensaver just turned on. Oops. Um, There's always something I can do better about whether it's video quality, audio quality, uh, gameplay quality. There's there's not really much I can do about my my commentary because it's just, it is whatever it is. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. It is what it is. You don't throw a fizz. So... Yeah, but I I like to think I can always improve. And that's what keeps me going, is knowing that tomorrow I will do better, and the next day I will do better. Um, So it's just finding finding your confidence in a way, but also don't give up um, initially if you're not doing great. um, Or you're not finding people out there who are watching your videos. I had 35 subscribers for, I think, six months straight. Didn't gain a single one. And I didn't put out videos every day in those six months, but um, I guess I didn't stop. And look where it's gotten me now. I don't. I'm not famous or anything, but I have my own little niche of people, and it makes me happy. All you guys make me happy. So thank you for being you guys <laughs> in general. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could say about commentary there. If there is, I'll get back to it. But let's see. Another thing people ask me about is age. Um, what age do you want, do you have to be to start Let's Playing? And there really isn't an age limit um, in general. However, you'll find it a lot harder if you're under, I'm going to say 16. Just because you don't have the history with games, <laughs> I guess, that that other people do. And that'll give them an advantage over you is just like Link to the Past, for instance. I remember that game from when I was like four years old. And I remember playing it. I've been playing it ever since. So I have a rich history with that game that I can draw from while playing it. And I just have a rich history with games in general. Like even Mario Galaxy 1, I can make references to Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine and Mario World and Mario 3 just because I grew up with those games. And I guess I kind of have an unfair advantage in that respect, just because I have all those games that I can talk about while playing Galaxy 2, and that will help with your commentary as well. Um, But you'll also find it hard, when you're under 16, you have school to focus on, you have friends to hang out with, and, and that kind of stuff. I mean, you don't have the income that someone who's 16 or older can have a job. And make money to buy an HD PVR or buy a Dazzle and buy games to Let's Play and, and buy a microphone and that kind of stuff. You don't have that income that other people do as well. So I'm not saying it's impossible for someone 16 or younger. I mean, you have parents still, but it'll be, it'll be harder. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, game choice as well. People ask me, how do I choose a game to Let's Play? I don't profess to be to be the best at this. I've made bad choices in the past. New Super Mario Bros. Wii was a poor choice. Um, I don't know if I'll ever finish that Let's Play. I might. I might go back. That'd be kind of funny to, like... <laughs> I started, last episode I recorded was, like, nine months ago. My commentary style was very different nine months ago. <laughs> so it'd be kind of funny to, like, just one episode, I'm super quiet and boring, and the next episode, hey, guys, welcome back! Um, but that's getting off, off topic here. Pick a game that you have a passion for. Super Mario Galaxy 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. It's my favorite Mario game of all time. It finally passed Mario 3 as my favorite Mario game. And I have a real passion for it. I love that game. And I, I like to think that shows through in the Let's Play of it. Um, and I think that's important. I think it's important to have a game that you're really, you're pumped about. You're, you Always enjoying to record it. That was a very poorly formed sentence. Whenever you sit down to record it, you are enjoying it, you're energetic, you're happy. I think that's that's a game you need to find. Or a game that you know from childhood. Whether for me, the first game I chose was Link to the Past. And while I do not feel I did the game justice at all, the fact that I liked the game kept me going, even though I wasn't doing that great. Um... 
I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I'm not, I'm not the best with words, so forgive my my ramblings here. Um, yeah, it's. I'm trying to convey it in words. Pick a game, yeah, I guess I just have to go back to this. Pick a game that you love. Pick a game you have a passion for, especially at first, because you can't find your commentary style, and you, you, it'll be harder to keep going if you don't have a game you're really into. You don't have a game that you're motivated to sit down and record every time. Golden Sun was another great example for me. I loved Golden Sun so much, and I was always excited to sit down and record that. So, yeah. <sighs> I don't feel like I did that subject justice at all, but yeah, pick a game that you that you like and you love and you enjoy and you will continue to enjoy throughout the entirety of the, entirety of the Let's Play, because it's amazing how easy it is to underestimate how long it'll take a Let's Play to finish. Uh, Final Fantasy VI, I want to say I finished that in September and I started it in March. That's six months I had invested into that game. That, it was six months of my life LP in that game. That's a large investment. So you have to find a game that you are willing to invest a couple months of recording into. That's, it, it's difficult. I'm still not that great at it. I'm having a really difficult time figuring out what I'm going to let's play next. Just, I just, I don't know. I'm not, I, I can't give great advice on that subject, so I'm sorry. Not that I'm giving great advice on anything else I've said so far. I'm trying to think of, I was talking about something when I was talking about commentary style. Um... And I don't remember what it was. Let me let me stop here for a second. Actually, I think I pretty much covered what I wanted to. Um, if you guys have any other questions or anything, please leave them in the comments because I will I can make another one of these videos if if you found this at all beneficial, and I will at least have then a direct list of questions that I can just answer as opposed to my incessant rambling that I've been doing so far. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just leave you with, with this, which is, one, don't give up. If you don't have followers now, uh, go connect with people. Connecting with other Let's Players is really important. Go find else, find someone else who isn't really super famous and just offer to co-commentate with them. Do whatever. Make, go make friends. That's half of what the Let's Play community is about, is making friends. I've made tons of great friends for the Let's Play community, and that's I've really enjoyed it. I mean, Patrick and I both were not famous. We're still not famous at all. Uh, but we, our names were not known to anyone. Um, and we made friends back then, and we're still friends now. And I'm very good friends with Patrick, or uh, Josh, or Keel or Born, or Atma, or anyone. I mean... All these are people are friends that I've made in the Let's Play community. And you network with, with new people, and their subscribers will meet you. You'll meet their subscribers. Uh, your subscribers will meet them. And you can gain subscribers that way. I mean, code commentary is a huge important thing. Um, secondly, enjoy what you're doing. Um, if you don't enjoy making videos, stop. Uh, there's no reason that you should push yourself to do something. If, you, if you're not enjoying it. I mean, I love making these videos, and that's why I've continued. Um, but I, I know I said earlier, don't give up. However, if that's, that's kind of not the best way to put it. The point is, if you enjoy it, keep doing it even if no one's watching, because you will get better, and people will start watching. Um, but if you're not enjoying it, why waste your time? Time is precious. You only have one life, so might as well live it doing something you enjoy. Um, and thirdly, yeah, it just, it takes time to find your stride and I'm still finding my stride. Um, but I mean, there was a, there was an uptick in like my final fan in the middle of my final fantasy sits, let's play in towards the end of golden sun. And that was, that was like over a hundred videos that I'd made. And I was only just starting to find a stride and a style and consistency. Um, I think, con and, and yeah, so it takes time. It, it's like a sport. Um, you got to practice, you got to keep at it, otherwise you'll never get good. Um, consistency is also something I've been working towards. It's not the most important thing in the world, but I try to update every day nowadays, even in my hectic life, because I think it's important. Um, it's an investment that I've made. I've made an investment in you guys and in the Let's Play community, and I'm trying to make good on that investment by, by uploading content regularly, um, as opposed to just disappearing for 
for a week or two and then uploading and then disappearing. And I, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I've done that in the past. That's just, I like consistency. Uh, however, this has gone on long enough. God, this video is long. 25 minutes? Okay. Well, to those of you who are still here, if you have any questions or anything specific, please leave it in the comments. I will definitely, I can make another one of these for sure. And answering your direct questions, that would be, I would be more than happy. I would love to do that. So, yeah, I'm, that's, I guess, all I really have to say for now. And I said way more than I needed to anyway, because so much of this was rambling. I'm sorry. However, until next time, whenever that might be, if there's another one of these, or until my next video, whenever that comes up, thank you guys for watching this. I know it's been kind of boring. There hasn't been much on the screen. But I hope you guys are having a great day.